the last time I was thinking about this, the last time you and I may have actually seen each other, although it was very briefly, was when Kiss went into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because I was sitting with Ace and Peter at their table and you guys right. were right adjacent or behind yep. and you were at the table with Gene and Paul and I gave a wave, I remember. Sure. Um, that night, you know, it, it's such a such a like everything in kiss land it's a polarizing <laughs> thing fans have a lot of differing feelings about what went on um but for you and, and there's a lot of people rightfully upset that yourself or eric carr or right. others weren't included in that induction we all know the hall of fame has had there's a million examples of people who have contributed far less to their respective bands and gone in yes you i've never gotten your take on how that night went uh, I'm assuming Gene and Paul invited you and your feelings about, you know, not being included with the band that you gave 12 years to. You know, I, quite honestly, from the second it was announced and they were not going to, uh, it, you know, uh, in, in induct more than just the original four. As much as I had to accept that, I, 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 I knew that that wouldn't sit very well for Paul and Gene. And Paul was especially vocal about it, of which I was quite proud of. In some ways, I felt like he was really pushing the narrative of all the years of the band, including the current, you know, and, and so I was all for whatever they wanted from me in the sense of an invitation to come and support them. Absolutely, I'll be there, you know, and, and it was an honor for me to be there. I was excited to see it. I, I knew the politics behind it, unfortunately. It's kind of really ironic how, how bad the Hall of Fame can be to so many bands, how unfair. And, uh, and that night, ironically, there was all of the other members of the E Street Band who made right. Bruce Springsteen famous being inducted, you know. Um, and it's a real tragedy for KISS fans. Now, I can never say that my name, you know, my status in KISS could ever match, you know, an original member like Ace and Peter and what, what they brought, I wouldn't have had the job without them. So that, that I know and I respect that. But I don't, I don't get why the, the Hall of Fame couldn't have um, got it better and then included everyone. And, and then I think you would have seen a much different attitude from everyone. And then you probably would have seen a performance of some sort. Mm. And it didn't happen. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, I know. I mean, w whether people want to know or admit it or not, I was intensely involved from ace and peter's side and trying to help them navigate through all that and i know the ups and downs and craziness that went on leading into it but the one thing when you walk away from it um i feel that it was in, for fans who fought so hard to want them in there i feel we got incredibly shortchanged without a performance it was what should have yep. been the most special moment it turned into being basically a, a footnote in that whole evening i think springsteen's band is still talking <laughs> their, their induction thing went on 15 guys going yes. on forever it was crazy but it's just yeah. there's no logic to it and it's not just with kiss it's across the board yep. you've got people that have been included with bands that were not even credited on records or yes. maybe were did one record yep. and then you've got eric carr who was the first ever replacement member and yourself uh, such incredibly important contributions to keep that band alive during the 80s and and right. it's and and yes and you can make the argument of course for eric singer and tommy and Vinny and everybody but I think a lot of people very much felt rightfully so that when it came to people that absolutely should have at least made the cut, you and Eric Carr uh, absolutely should have been in there. Well, and I know the you. band has nothing to do with it. I know you don't yeah. have anything right. to do or control over it, but it just was one of the many, many wrongs from them. Sure. That they got horribly wrong. I thought that night. I took the high road. I was supportive and kind to everyone. I was thrilled to be there. It meant a lot to me. I did a nice write up about it for my, you know, website and fit, social media got covered by a couple of magazines. I took pictures with stars there. That was a lot of fun, but that was the tragedy of it. And, um, you know, it's still, and we, we can conclude with nothing meant more that night. That one moment, Gene made a shout out to me, you know, Tom Morello, who everybody respects because he's such a, a spokesperson for, for rock and roll, you know, and, and such a talented artist in his own right mentions my name. All of that meant so much to me, you know, so it was a win that way. And sadly, I think it's just the way the Hall of Fame handled it.